August 15, 1977. The Big Ear Radio Telescope in Ohio was capturing invisible echoes from the depths of the universe. In the silence of the night, a signal suddenly appeared, unimaginable and unlike anything ever heard before. It lasted only 72 seconds, but it ignited one of the greatest cosmic mysteries in human history. The signal was so powerful, so clear, and so unexpected that the astronomer who discovered it, Dr. Jerry Amann, scribbled a single word on the computer printout. Wow. What made the signal so extraordinary was not just its strength, but its frequency. It came in at 1420 megahertz, the natural resonant frequency of hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe. Many scientists believe that if another intelligent civilization ever wished to announce its presence, they would choose hydrogen, a universal channel, a cosmic telephone line written into the fabric of the stars. But what was it? A faint echo from a comet's gas cloud? A natural radio burst crossing from a distant galaxy? For nearly half a century, the universe offered no answer. Just silence. Until now. 3i slash Atlas, a mysterious interstellar traveler that entered our solar system in July, not from our neighborhood, not a captured asteroid or comet bound by the sun's gravity. Its orbit is hyperbolic a path that proves it came from the depths of space, will race past our sun and then vanish back into the interstellar dark. Its trajectory is so unusual, so precise, that some wonder if it was almost intentionally plotted. And now, a bold new theory connects this enigmatic visitor to the legendary WOW signal. A research team, led by a prominent astronomer from Harvard University, has traveled back in time using the trajectory of 3i Atlas. Advanced computer simulations revealed that in 1977, at the very moment the WOW signal arrived, this object was in almost perfect alignment with the region of the sky where the signal originated. So, what are the chances of this being a coincidence? According to calculations, the probability of such a precise alignment occurring purely by chance is just 0.6%. That's six in a thousand. This is a rate too low to be ignored. It is statistically significant. So if this object sent the signal, how did it manage it? This is where it gets even more interesting. According to the theory for the WOW signal to reach Earth from a vast distance of 90 billion kilometers, 3i Atlas would need to have a power source of 0.5 to two gigawatts. This is equivalent to the power generated by a typical nuclear reactor on Earth. This is not the kind of energy that an ordinary comet or asteroid can produce through natural means. It would require a focused and powerful transmission. Interestingly, previous theories about this object had also suggested that it might have some kind of nuclear power source at its core, or that it could be a spacecraft. The pieces seem to be slowly falling into place. Of course, this is not yet a proven theory. The researchers behind the idea also acknowledge that they need more data and observation. To date, no radio telescope has made a dedicated and continuous effort to listen directly to 3i Atlas. Therefore, a call is now being made to the scientific community. All powerful telescopes on Earth and in space should turn their ears to this object. They should check, specifically, if it is making any whispers, any transmissions, on that famous 1420 megahertz hydrogen frequency. 3i Atlas isn't behaving like an ordinary object. Could it be linked to the mysterious wow signal that's haunted us for 48 years? Maybe it's a coincidence, maybe something greater. Until we know, we keep watching the stars because perhaps someone knows we are.